Sister Barbara Ann Barbato has been a wonderful member of the Webster community. Barbara is a consummate scholar, uh, an American historian. Uh, she is a very skilled administrator. Barbara was a wonderful mentor to uh, young professors. She was completely engaged with students. If you had a problem, Barbara was the person you wanted to go find. Sister Barbara Ann is the kind of person who embodies the Loretto charism, loving service. She doesn't want the spotlight on her. She always wants to send that light out to everyone around her and let them do the shining. Well, one of the things uh, that Barbara taught everybody that she she associated with was to be concerned about every student, not only the brilliant student, but the student in need. In the early 70s, when she was dean of students, there were a lot of trees that needed to be cut down. They were diseased. And one student was especially upset by that. He got up in one of the trees and refused to come down. I found Barbara there at the foot of the tree, uh, not trying to talk him down, but telling him it was okay and telling him that he was okay. She was just wonderful and I am so glad I had her as a friend during that period. I think it's wonderful that Barbara is receiving this honorary degree. It demonstrates that Webster has a commitment to the Sisters of Loretto. It shows that they're honoring a faculty member who gave all of herself to her students and to the institution. She would say that this honor really isn't about her. This is about the recognition of the Sisters of Loretto and the fine teachers down through the decades at Webster. Barbara Ann, congratulations on receiving this honorary degree. I'm so proud to have been one of your colleagues. Congratulations, Dr. Barbara Ann Barbado. I feel very privileged to know you and that this is an honor that will carry on into Webster's future. Sister Barbara Ann, I am so glad that you are receiving this recognition and congratulations. Dwight is a very quiet and modest man who has done so much for our community. What I've always enjoyed about Dwight is he's got a great work ethic. He's kind of gotten that work ethic from growing up in Kansas, working on the farm, which he frequently writes about in his columns. He is a kind, fair, generous, gracious man. He is the kind of person whom I know I could call day or night his vision and his values have helped to establish and sustain one of the most important elements in our community, the Webster Kirkwood Times. He has served this community so well and with such involvement over the years. You know, he's not been a publisher or a manager who has sat uh, in an office somewhere and told his minions what to do. He is involved, he knows the people in the community, he is interested in what they do. I really think it's wonderful that Webster University is honoring Dwight with the Centennial Award. I know that uh, Dwight has treasured his education from Webster and it's pretty obvious when you look at the wide range of skills that he has and interests that he has that Webster was a, a keen influence Steering on him. Along a cemetery road in the dark, happy and in a hurry to reach eternity, or at least a party. Dwight, I want to congratulate you for this wonderful honor. You've been an important part of my life for many years and now I know that everyone else knows how important you've been. Here's to you, I can't think of a better person to honor on the centennial of Webster University. So here's to you, Dwight. Congratulations, Dwight. You so deserve this award for all you have done for our communities. Congratulations. Helen and I met, I guess, on our first day of school. We went four years together. Harry McLean was our uh, drama teacher, and he was an old, old actor. And uh, he just lived Shakespeare. And so we did, that's all we did. 
we got all of the male roles. So Helen and I did Malvolio and Romeo and Demetrius and Lysander. <laughs> Helen was so important to the Alumni Association when authority was turned over to the lay board. Uh, as you can imagine, the alumni were split and through Helen's tireless efforts, she explained the benefits, how it would prepare the college for the future, and that made it what it is today. When we first came here, Helen was a dynamic force in television for CBS and for St. Louis. She ran afternoon shows, she showed the spirit of what the city was about. She was a charismatic leader. When you look at her work in early television, later television and film, and later in her career in providing social services to seniors, uh, I think the career is unmatched. Helen, congratulations. You've been an icon in television from the time Alice and I first came here. It's been terrific to watch your vision and the spirit that you've brought to St. Louis through this time. We are proud to be friends and proud you are here. Congratulations. Helen, you are the quintessential Renaissance woman. Your influence permeates Webster and our community. Congratulations. Well, Helen, I hear you're up for an honorary degree. Who would have thought it? <laughs> Congratulations from me and from the rest of our class. We're very proud of you. Sandy Zimmerman has been my friend for over 50 years. He is a most extraordinary man and his leadership has been so important to the city of St. Louis. At one time, he was not only chairman of Famous Bar in St. Louis, but he was chairman of Downtown Incorporated. He was chairman of United Way. He was chairman of the Arts and Education Council. Sandy was a wonderful leader for a dynamic change. He understood the Sisters of Loretto. He understood what we needed to be to be an institution approaching the 21st century. He established a philosophy and a structure for the school that became an important element of Webster College. Is here because of the foundation that Sandy Zimmerman built with the board that he created when Webster was really a very small, very relatively poor Catholic girls school. The board that Sandy formed was not just uh, a board of community leaders, but they were people who uh, responded to Sandy's enthusiasm and, and Sister Jacqueline's vision. They didn't meet monthly, they met weekly. And they reached into all parts of the community and made Webster known in this community in a way that it wasn't before. And it's impossible to really understand Sandy without talking about his life partner, Eve, his wife who was always there for advice and moral support and a warmth that is hard to describe. Sandy, congratulations and mazel tov. You deserve the degree, you deserve to be recognized. I couldn't be more proud that you'll be on the platform becoming Dr. Sandy Zimmerman. Congratulations, Sandy, and to you, Eve, for this honor which you so richly deserve. Sandy, congratulations. This doctorate is an honor that you justly deserve. Many of us who have been associated with this university for all these years know that you helped create what we are today.